Thanks for joining us today for day two of the One Lab Summit. We are really pleased with how things went, and today's presentations were really exciting and focused on planning. Um, we heard first from Ms. Channon Williams, who was our keynote speaker. She talked about how we can maximize lessons learned from past outbreaks to develop a sustainable laboratory cross-training program. She also talked about how cross-training is the solution to the many laboratory challenges that we've all seen and experienced, including staffing issues, downtime, surge testing, and onboarding new staff. She also mentioned that cross-training gives staff an opportunity to develop new skills, which could open up doors for promotion. Channon shared the many benefits of cross-training and recommended coordinating cross-training based on people's complementary skills and also based on the laboratory's needs. She shared her experience with training efforts during the COVID-19 response and during the 2022 MPOX response. Also, she shared how her laboratory applied what they learned from one response to the next, um, which led to increased cross-training, improved operational efficiency, and decreased turnaround time despite there being increased sample volume. Shannon talked us through how to implement a cross-training program, starting with making sure to assess the laboratory's needs, defining the goals of the cross-training program, designing the cross-training program, implementing a cross-training program, including how to create a cross-training schedule. Uh, she also talked us through evaluating the results of cross-training programs and how you can sustain cross-training efforts. Next, we heard from Ms. Brianna Michael and Amber Eberhardt. They gave us insight into what a training needs assessment can tell us about your laboratory. Uh, they walked us through the steps to conducting a needs assessment, including examples of data collection methods. They also shared how you can use needs assessment findings to determine the training needs and training that could be offered to your staff. Ms. Sudaba Parnian encouraged us to embrace a refined approach to comprehensive and rapid training needs assessments. She talked us through two recent APHL needs assessments, uh, one comprehensive one in 2018 and one rapid one in 2021, and also talked about ways that training needs assessments can be refined. Next, we heard from Mr. Joe Rothschild, who walked us through One Lab VR. We learned about how that virtual 50,000 square foot facility can be used to train laboratory professionals. He showed us some of the 12 laboratories that are within that virtual environment and talked about the current One Lab VR scenarios that we have the One Lab VR tutorial, One Lab VR centrifuge safety and one lab VR packing and shipping dangerous goods with of course more to come. Uh, we also got to see how the multiplayer component of one lab VR could be used to train laboratory staff. We next heard from Dr. Leah Ames who gave us insight into how understanding CLIA and CAP regulations can be used to advance your laboratory career. She gave us an overview of CLIA and CAP and talked about why it's important to be familiar with the laboratory re regulatory requirements, as well as how that knowledge of laboratory regulatory requirements can be used to advance medical laboratory professionals' careers. Lastly, we heard from Dr. Kelly Winter, who shared new and upcoming enhancements to One Lab Reach, CDC's learning management system for clinical and public health laboratory professionals. She talked us through the different elements on CDC uh, of the CDC One Lab initiative, including One Lab Reach, One Lab Network, One Lab Test, One Lab VR, One Lab Summit, One Lab Resources, and One Lab Assessments. You all got to see how to sign up for a One Lab Reach account and opt in to the One Lab Network. Dr. Winter also shared some exciting new things that are coming 
to one lab, including enhancements planned for one lab reach, upcoming e-learning courses, job aids and VR scenarios, and also upcoming one lab network events. We look forward to seeing you all tomorrow for the third and final day of the One Lab Summit 2024. Tomorrow's sessions are focused on preparedness. And as a teaser, we'll learn about how laboratories should prepare for future responses, how you can evaluate your laboratory risk management and quality improvement processes, the importance of a great biosafety plan, and how to interconnect people for planning and preparedness. For tomorrow, we've built in a virtual networking session and we're really excited to have you join us. The networking session will start at 1.35 p.m. Eastern time. To join the networking session, you can go to the link that we're pasting in the chat. And as Kelly mentioned, the One Lab virtual exhibit hall during her tour of One Lab Reach. If you haven't visited that virtual exhibit hall yet for this um, summit, please check it out. We're also putting that link in the chat. In the exhibit hall, you'll find virtual posters highlighting different organizations, programs, resources, success stories, and more. And if you missed any of today's, yesterday's, or you can't make it to tomorrow's presentations, please know that as Kelly said, we'll be making all of the One Lab Summit presentation recordings available on the One Lab Summit webpage. And we will definitely reach out to you all, um, everybody who's registered with uh, for the One Lab Summit when those recordings are available. Tomorrow's One Lab Summit sessions will start at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time. And to log on to those sessions, please use the same Zoom link you use to access the sessions today. We hope you have a fantastic night and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you all. Mm -hmm.